Welcome to Play Cool Guitar and in this lesson we're going to take a quick look at guitar tablature. Guitar tablature is the language that guitarists and lute players use, often in preference to notation, but it works really well for guitarists. Um, so we're just going to have a quick look at that. So on this page you can see that I have um, lines going across the page in sets of six. Uh, and at the top of the page, on the first line, I've got some uh, words here. It says uh, strings with fret numbers, and that refers to the six lines going across the page. Um, the six lines going across the page represent the strings of the guitar, and uh, the numbers going down the side at the beginning represent which string is which, numbered from one to six. This phrase here, it says left hand fingers, that's underneath the set of six lines, that's where you write the, which finger is used to play a certain note. Now most people are right handed guitarists, so it's their left hand that presses the strings down uh, in order to play notes, but if you were a left hander, then obviously this would be uh, right hand fingers. Okay, so Moving further along this top line, there's a zero on the top line, and then it says high sounding strings. Further along, there's a zero on the bottom line, and it says low sounding string. Okay, um, exercise one here, halfway down the page, has uh, a dozen or so notes, which are on the lowest sounding string, which is string six and there are notes on string 5 and string 4. Exercise 2 has notes on strings 3, 2 and 1. Okay, so in exercises 1 and 2 I've put the fingers, the left hand fingers that are used to press the strings down underneath the set of six lines. Right, so you can download this from the website and look at it while watching the lesson. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go through it now and um, hopefully this will be in-depth enough for you to understand. So, the highest sounding string, which of those, <clears throat> which of our six strings is that? It's actually this one, isn't it? Okay, <clears throat> and the fact that it's a zero means there is no left hand finger pressing the string down. So it's just the open string. Halfway along we have a zero on the bottom line and there it says low sounding string. So if you're in any doubt, the bottom line on the page represents the lowest sounding string. And because it's a zero, no left hand finger is used to play the note. I hope that's clear. I think I've covered everything. If you get confused, go back to the beginning and listen again. <clears throat> the, next, um, the next line of music we have is exercise one. What I'd like you to do is to try this exercise and then play the video to see if you got it right. So I'm now just going to play exercise one slowly. Here it goes. You can play along if you like. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you've got it right the first time, if not, practice it and then play along with the video again. Here's exercise number two. One, two, three, four. Good. Hopefully yours sounds just like that. Good luck with those two exercises and I hope that uh, that's clear enough and you've understood it. See you in the next lesson.